I think that people who want to collaborate need platforms to collaborate on. And uh, there's certainly a lot of room for companies to create those platforms. And I mean, my the metaphor that works that that has worked the best for me to understand this stuff is thinking about how a city does it. You know, there are things. It's all about balancing the um, kind of the rights and freedoms of individuals or small groups versus the what's the, the good for the whole, the common good. So this balance between individual freedom and the common good, every society has to figure it out. And every company has to figure it out. And I think what uh, these large companies, one of the things that they have done is they've been big enough to say, well, we are the ecosystem. <laughs> you know, if you want to collaborate, collaborate with us the way we want to collaborate. And the, the 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 what consumers are doing is they're saying well you know um, that doesn't work for me I don't want to go buy my insurance from one company and you know if I'm going to be buying you know or buying my car as a service from Zipcar I want to buy my insurance as a service as well I'm not I don't want to have to go through the you know the the um, the move from product orientation to service orientation is going to force companies to uh, think about it differently. If you're an insurance company or a healthcare provider in the U.S., I mean, people go through hell. They fill up filling out forms and doing all this stuff. They're just not going to want to do it, especially when they have other options. And they're, that's what's happening right now with the startups is they're getting more options. There's a lot of room for innovation with uh, technology and, you know, automating things and uh, you know creating uh, APIs and building things as uh, as services that that gap is going to be filled 